This video will give you some practice using the uh, formula for density. The density is mass divided by volume. This particular calculation, we want to find out what is the weight in pounds for the air in a, uh, in a room 18 feet long, 15 feet wide, and the ceiling is 8 feet above the floor. We're going to do the calculations in metric units, those are more convenient, but to connect with you a little bit better, we'll convert the uh, weight in newtons to a weight in pounds at the end. Well, the weight of the air in the room will be the mass of the air in the room multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity. Well, we have a value 9.8 meters per second squared for the acceleration due to gravity. Our task is to find a value for the mass. How many kilograms of air are in this room? Well, we have the formula for density. Density is mass over volume. So if we want to calculate the, uh, the mass, we just rearrange this formula, multiply both sides by volume, and we find that the mass is the density of air times the volume. We were given the dimensions in feet, so let's convert those to meters. And the conversion factor is there's, there's 3.281 feet for one meter. That goes in the denominator to cancel off the feet units. And we find these dimensions for the room, a little over 5 meters for uh, one dimension, 4.6 for the other, 2.4 for the other dimension. If you multiply those three together, that gives you volume. Length times width times height gives a volume for a rectangular room, as uh, this particular room is. So we have a volume here of over 61 cubic meters, 61 cubic meters. Well, to find the mass, we should look for the density of air that has units in cubic meters. And the OpenStax College uh, textbook has such a table in it. And you can find that uh, roughly air is 1.29 kilograms per cubic meter, or ni nitrogen, oxygen, atmosphere at uh, sea level, standard temperature. 1.29 kilograms per cubic meter. So our mass then is the density times the volume. And 1.29 times the 61.16, the mass in, of air in the room is 78.89 kilograms. Multiplying that by 9.8, because weight is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. We find we have 773.1 newtons as the weight for the air. There's a conversion factor between the English unit of force, the pound, and the metric unit of force, the newton. So 0.2248 pounds is one newton. The newton is a smaller unit than the pound. So do you expect the number of pounds to be larger or smaller than 773? The newton is a smaller unit than the pound. Well, you expect it to be smaller, and that's the way the conversion works out. Again, we have newtons to start with in our conversion factor. We need to put newtons in the denominator, though the newton unit will cancel off. We have 174 pounds of air in the room. That might, I don't know, may or may not be surprising to you, but about the weight of an adult. Um, so we have 174 pounds air in the room. We found this by taking advantage of the formula for density and realizing weight is mass times gravity. Rearranging the formula for density allows us to calculate the mass, density times the volume. We looked up the density in a table, the density of air, and we calculated the volume by converting the units of feet into meters for each dimension, length, width, and height. So you ought to practice, invent your own little problem here that would uh, allow you to practice with the density formula and ask your instructor questions.